Welcome back, mitochondrians, to Parasite Eve. I'm Officer Scott. You're at the Scott Spot. All right. So last time we had a press conference and went badly. The media is kind of aware that something strange is going on. Some Japanese scientists called to say he was going to come over here to talk to us about the incident. But in the meantime, um, Detective Nix pointed out that there is a guy in town who works at the museum. Some scientist that has wrote and written a new theory on mitochondria. So let's just go and check that out, shall we? Okay, um, we need to go back out to the world map. Goodbye, Eddie. Have fun at your computer. Alright, we have a new destination available. The museum. Going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Klump will be there. Dr. Klump. What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something. But it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're going to have a grand time with this one. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? <laughs> I would have said ass personally, but you two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Hmm, more backstory. I think years ago Daniel and Shiva were partners, so. Um, Daniel and uh, Baker is what I meant to say. Alright, so we got the American Museum of Natural History. A little cameo. That banner that hangs from the front of the museum uh, has a chocobo on it from Final Fantasy. It even says chocobo. Neat little Easter egg there. Been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaurs. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. I wouldn't mind going to like a huge museum like that one day. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. I love the snow scrunt squelching sound. Hey there. How you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're within YPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? No, we just want to talk to him. That's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. <laughs> That's pretty easy. This is pretty creepy without any people. Yeah, I could see how that could be possible. <laughs> You'll find his office on the second floor. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out much. Doesn't come out. Ever. Thanks. I'm about to head on out of here. Hope you two get the information you need. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's just keep track of who comes in. Thanks, uh... Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? <laughs> no books on the counter. Thanks. Alright. Let's do Scruffy's, uh, notebook signing. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough. Unless you want to leave your number, too. <laughs> Awkward. Of course, I would try to get I as number two if I could. If I wasn't already dating someone. Can I go through any of these doors? There's like there's a phone over there for me to use. Alright, looks like there's nowhere else for me to go but up, I guess. Hey, just between us, the doctor's a bit 
you know, just be careful. What was he trying to imply there, strange? Well, I'm about to head out of here. Hope you two get the information you need. Me too. We'll see how it goes. Hey, uh. Over here. Let's see if I can go anywhere else. Doesn't look it that way. I like the exhibit, so. I think there's a Stegosaurus skeleton there. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Must be Clamp's office. Or lab, whatever you want to call it. Excuse me. Hello? Hey! Dr. Clamp! Dr. Clamp! I hear you. This is Dr. Hans Clamp. Put his, uh, image up there. He's, uh, fairly integral to the story. Where were the NYPD? I'd like to ask you a few questions. They're like, oh, brother. This is gonna be fun. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This again? What is this? So what was it that just triggered this flashback? This man. I know him, I think. So, I has had an encounter with Dr. Clamp before. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. I'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since you mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Ha <laughs> ha! You two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? This is going to be fun, isn't it? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Like Parasite Eve? Parasite! That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. They're like, this guy's a nut job. <laughs> Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were... He's like, yeah, I'm glad you caught my point. For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy. Right? Haha. <laughs> You have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, this hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence, dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. 
When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? Wow, this guy's kind of fanatical. But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria can mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. That's foreboding. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all. Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself... Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here! Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it! Hmm, interesting. So if Eve has mitochondria from the beginning of creation, then that means that it's been evolving all this time. Who tells, can, knows how powerful it is. Okay, uh, so we're back on the world map and apparently it's night now. Let me just check out Carnegie Hall real quickly to make sure that uh, I can't go back in yet. Nope, looks like a uh, no changes here. You could also go back to the museum to uh, go inside and check it out, but uh, it's closed now. All right, back to the lobby, or back to the precinct. There's no way you can go that fast in New York City, by the way. <laughs> Throwing that out there. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him! That man. I've seen him. Before. But I can't remember... Where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Aya. Looks like we got a break in the case. Oh, really? What? We gotta get back to the station, I. Hang on. I'm kicking this into turbo. <laughs> like a police car would have turbo in it. And make sure you turn on the lights so everybody will get the hell out of the way. And we're back at the police department. Alright, you got anything new to say, Eddie? Hey, Aya. Any news from the case? Hope you bag this creep soon. I hate to bump into him on the street. That would be scary. Just be like walking down the street and you see Eve in an alley. Ew. Kathy, you got anything to say? The whole place is going nuts. wonder what's happened. What about down here? However, I do believe that y Let's see. Hey, we have an emergency meeting in the conference room. Yeah, yeah. I do believe that you guys are going to have to wait till next time to find out what the emergency meeting is all about. Because we are out of time. So, mitochondrians, I hope you enjoyed your time hanging out with me at the Scott Spot, playing Parasite Eve. I know I did. And 
I think we will reach the next dungeon in this next episode, so look forward to that. I shall catch you guys next time for more at the Scott Swat.